things I'm only doing shit that's gonna make me elevate Only one people around that's gonna make me Welcome to the channel, y'all. So, yesterday, it's cold out here. Yesterday, I hit the road. I had to come to Detroit from Atlanta. So, my niece passed away. So, now we're here for her viewing. And she's going to be cremated. So, y'all, yesterday taught me that you need to have money i mean because we hopped on the road thank god she had money a little money i had money my brother had money but needless to say y'all save money especially when you living in a different state and you need you know what i'm saying you you need to be able to hop up and go because you just never know what the heck happens what the heck is going to happen thank goodness this is two weeks like a week or two later from when she passed but today we're gonna go get to view her body and she's gonna be cremated and she's she was 18 she had fluid in her lungs desi had other issues as well um she wasn't supposed to live past two so they say two you know and then she, she kept going 10 and she was supposed to live this long, but she gave us a nice amount of time with her of being on this earth. So, you know, I did my crying. You go through your emotions and you're going to cry again and I'm up. Be everywhere, you know. So, I'm here in the D. Y'all, they forgot all about these streets. What turns into what until I got on there and I'm like, oh yeah, this turned into this. And it's turning to that. But a lot of the streets I had forgot about. Until I started seeing them. As we were driving. And I'm like. Oh we getting close to home. Or whatever. We close to you know. Our destination. But. Yeah. I'm here. I'm just. I'm not prepared to really see her body for the last time. Because I really just prefer to remember her as she is. But I know that my sister. This is my oldest sister, you guys. My oldest sister. This is my oldest sister. So, I know that I need to be there for her emotionally. So, we hopped on a roll. It was 11 hours. We made it here. Thank God. And I was on a bold tire, y'all. <laughs> I rode down here on a tire that needed to keep getting pumped up. But my dad, he went out today and got me a tire. Thank goodness, because he know our little spots around here. I didn't know much. I'm sorry about the background, y'all. Y'all gonna have to ignore the background. <sighs> yeah, Detroit is the hood, y'all. For y'all who don't know. So, um, what else has been going on? I know I've been missing in action on YouTube. I always say this. I know I've been missing in action. I'm sorry about that, y'all. But... Yeah, I just needed to just tell y'all that just hang on to money, especially if you're living in a different state. Like, hang on to the, I don't give a dang if it's $25 out of a check. It's so important. But thank goodness we had a little bit of time to like, you know, make some shake. Because I was going to make my way here. <laughs> I was going to make my way here. I was like, I, I got to go. I, I need to go at least be there for her, uh... 
you know, before she get cremated to her last viewing or whatever, I knew I was going to come here. Um, my sister also held a, I think it was like a, you know, release of balloons or whatever for, that was cool. I got to see that on live. So, we're here. I'm just mentally not ready because the kids, and my niece was very small, y'all. So, she like played with the kids and stuff. She, <laughs> she was little like them. So, like, he, she was little like uh eight year old nine year old she wasn't big at all she was very very small she was like a i want to say a six or seven year old but yeah she is truly going to be missed like to have her spirit around but i know she had to go and i know that she's in a better place hopefully like i believe i do believe in god i believe she's going to a different spot so a different place and I believe she's going to a better place put it like that so I'm here my sibling all the siblings are here so we get to all see each other it's been I, I don't come to Detroit I don't so when I do come it's very rare y'all like the last time I was here I think was like three four years ago three years ago I want to say three I don't know y'all it's been a long time like some years so i'm back in the d i i go home we go home we only spend it like three days here and then we going back home i made sure i took some time off from work for i can come down here well i ain't need a lot of time but you know because everybody's processing and i think it's just one of those things everybody process things in their own way everybody go through grieving process differently and i've went through my stuff everybody going through their own stuff so and i'm quite sure my sister she's been like she is she's she dealing she's dealing y'all the long 11 hour drive let me tell y'all you gotta be like i've done long drives so when we when we went to arizona it was 30 something hours right from detroit to uh Air, phoenix arizona which we were living before we moved to atlanta we did that 30 hour drive and also we did the 30 hour drive from az to atlanta so we did two 30 hour drives but this one was a little bit more intense because i stayed on the road until we needed gas and then when we needed gas everybody went to go pee went to go do all that and and that's how we stayed on the road like when we did the 30 hour of course you're going to have to pee in between you know what i'm saying you can't just do it every time you got to fill up the car it's especially with little ones and Jaden and King were they were smaller they were children they were baby babies so of course I gotta pee I gotta go things like that this time around boy they hang in there until to one person like okay I gotta use it all right now it's time to fill up so it's let's just go on here fill up the car and just go that's what we were doing but yeah this was a little different so our legs were stiff we didn't stop as frequently as we did when we were doing a 30-hour ride. 30-hour ride, we were like, rest stop. Um, <laughs> I swear, gas station. I mean, we I, I, we kept, we whenever we felt like it, or whenever the kids said, hey, I got to go, we were doing. But thank God I had a job. Thank God I had money. Say your coin because I did. I was like, oh shit, this check I can I really can do something, you know. But if I would have saved up, I wouldn't have been even I wouldn't even had to spend that money. I would have just had money. But yeah, just save your money. Cause just anything can happen at any moment in time and things is happening. But Yep, it's sad to say, you know, that I got to rush. I had to rush here because my niece passed away. But, oh, 
you know, it is what it is. I was going to be here. My sister was shocked. She really, you know, she thought that, oh, my sisters, you know, they stay, they stay in Atlanta. I was going to, look, let me tell you, I'm going to take my little doom buggy, baby. I was going to hit that motherfucker road. I didn't give a damn. I said, I'm, I'm coming. That's what I told <laughs> We coming. We coming to Detroit. She said, oh, I thought you. I thought y'all, you know, she was like, y'all so far away. They mean nothing. We hopped on the road and was here. Okay. Um, but we get we get to see her today. Last time, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm repeating it, but it's just like I don't know. I'm more concerned about the kids because she um my sister also had two other girls. And then, you know, Jaden and King, they're cousins, so they in each other's space all the time they you know they're close so i'm more concerned about my sister i'm more concerned about my sister and her girls and these little boys because i know you know they they gotta adjust I know that they have to adjust, you know, it's just one of them things that they got to get used to. She ain't going to be here. You got to get used to that she's not going to be here. Y'all, I tried to do something to this head today, baby. And yes, I do got my locks in. Y'all, I'm going to show you all these locks. I keep telling y'all I'm locked up under here, but this is the same wig I had on before. Y'all know I love these there. I like playing with these wigs. I even got girl, I've been thinking about getting me some um some straight ones. I don't I've never really had like the straight long ones, but I'm gonna try one. I am. I'm gonna try one. I'm gonna try me a a long wig. I ain't never never had a straight long wig. But I am gonna try one. Y'all know what it is. Y'all, I'm sitting out here in my little, my little fleece, whatever this thing is. But yeah, driving. Oh my goodness, wait. When we were driving, y'all, I was so uncomfortable. My feet was uncomfortable. I tried to get as comfortable as possible before we hit the road, right? So, this is how I know I am over gym shoes. <laughs> I got out the car. This is when we, I think it was our last stop for gas or whatever. I'm like, I'm so uncomfortable. I'm so uncomfortable. I couldn't figure it out. I get out the car, go to the back of the, uh, go to the, you know, the trunk, go and get my slides. Baby, that's all I needed. The whole time, that was relief. Y'all, the whole time, I could have been put on my slides and been driving. Driving on the way. Driving my little soul away. I could have been doing that. But, needless to say, y'all, we made it. <sighs> our little our road trip it was it was lit i'm sorry just to hop up i came home we also went to work that day came home y'all y'all know we worked through the night worked through the night came home showered was on the road by nine nine something nine something or whatever in the morning nine something in the morning look we we made it. We was on the freeway. Yeah, nine something. We was on the freeway. Then we made it here at 8.45 at night. Y'all, 8.45 at night. But my mom was so happy to see us. She was happy to have us under the same roof. Because, I mean, you know, we be gone and we be everybody doing their own thing. Um... But we will be back. I'm coming back uh, for Juneteenth. So. Woo! That was a rat. And my brother, he um he's going to drive his car back. So we're going to have two cars on the road to go back to Atlanta. Because he's like, I'm taking my car with me for a week and go. My parents had his car. My dad. My dad was just like, yeah, y'all really was pushing it. Oh, we was pushing it. And I told him we was on that bowl tire. Because my parents was just down in Atlanta. When my niece passed away, um, they were in Atlanta with us. 
and my niece, my sister called or whatever, and I talked to the doctor because she couldn't explain it because my sister was so messed up. Um, she explained everything to me, like what Desi was going through, and she told me, you know, she got 10 minutes to a few hours, and she's going to pass. So I was like, you know, this, and this is, remind y'all, they were there from the 21st of December. They were there for Christmas and New Year's. And my sister was supposed to be there in Atlanta with us, with the girls, for uh, New Year's. My parents had their Christmas and New Year's. And my sister was supposed to be down there, I mean, uh, yeah, down to Atlanta for New Year's. So we could bring it in as a family. And, but my sister stayed behind. And her her daughter passed. Which I, I can't remember. I think it was like the 5th. I want to say the 5th or something like that. I can't remember the date. All I knew was my heart dropped out of my damn body. That sinking feeling that I hate. But yeah. Dealing with that. We're dealing. We're dealing. This family is really... You know, they, they're some warriors, trust me. So, we'll cope with it. We know how to cope with things like this. As as any person, you know, I feel like we we will adjust. We're going through our emotions. Uh, we bought her an urn. She has an urn, so I'm happy that we're going to be able to, you know... Put her in her urn. She's going to... We got a little teardrop or whatever. And then my sister can swap her out if she wants. But my sister is okay with it. She's like, oh, that's cute. We bought it for her. That's one last thing. Y'all, this is what my locks look like right now. We are at a gas station. We in Kentucky. So. We are at a gas station, y'all. I look so up. Let me put this head back on. Girl, what are you doing out there? Looking crazy. Yeah. So we are in Kentucky. Can't wait to get back to Georgia. The boys in the back sleep. Daniel is bringing his car down to Georgia. So I've been trailing him. Today is going to be a great day. Yesterday was a good day too. I spent a little time with my sister and her girls. Um, all the siblings were there. So it was cool. It was cool to just kick it. Except for my oldest brothers. The two oldest brothers. But I got a chance to see my, um, the oldest oldest at the funeral. So. Y'all, one of my locks, the end of my lock fell off. I don't know what is going on. But I've been moisturizing them and all the rest of them are cool. They good. I'm just not for sure what happened. But the end of it is gone, y'all. It's 
gone. I don't know what happened. I don't know how to take care of them. I've never had luck, so. I'm learning. I'm learning about this hair. I, I don't know. I'm learning about this hair. I leave it alone. I don't really do too much. <sighs> Y'all, and we rode through the night. So we... We got on the road like 12.35. We're not gonna make it there until like 12.01. That's what it's saying right now, 12.01. But y'all know, when we get on these roads, people be speeding, like myself, like my brother, and we chop the time down a lot. So, I just can't wait to be back in my bed. I be missing my bed when I'm, when I'm anywhere though. I can be, I was in Florida and I was missing my bed. The scenery was nice, but I just, I wanted to be at home. But it's nice to be, you know, it was nice to go back home, but I was ready to come home. After the, after the funeral, I, I think I was just ready. I was ready to come back home. I was, I just was missing my bed. And then I was dreading this ride back to Georgia. But I went up there, I did what I had to do. I got things done. So, I'm just ready to be back home in my bed, the comfort of my own home. So, I just love scenery. Scenery is a big thing for me. Scenery is a, a big thing. I don't know what it is. It's a big thing for me. Yeah, I don't know what it is about just a view. Uh, Cause when we were riding here, yo, Jesse been looking at the mountains. That made me happy. Looking at the sun just, you know, hit on the mountains. I, I thought that was so beautiful. Um, I think it was one of the lakes. I'm not for sure. I seen the lake and I was just, that was pretty to me. I didn't get no photos of the lake or nothing like that, but it's just nice to see. It's a nice view. When, when I went back, y'all will when we was in Detroit, y'all know what I, I was noticing so much stuff had changed. Like certain stores, it's not certain stores no more. Certain areas, it's not certain areas no more. Like, only thing me and my brother, cause my brother just moved from Arizona back home. And he was just like, all this stuff, he just moved. Like maybe a few days, a few get, days ago. He's been gone for a while. So, we noticed that a lot of stuff is not the same. So, we were riding. Basically, only thing we know is, like, the streets. Because our streets going to always be the same. We know that 8 Mile, you know what I'm saying, turns into Woodward. 7 Mile crosses Woodward. Like, uh, these streets, I know a lot of people don't know about it. But, we just know main streets. So, that's what we were doing. <laughs> and a lot of places had changed. So, we go into these places and we like, okay... Let's go, like, uh, Michigan first. Let's go to, because we know that Michigan first is closed on the weekends or whatever. We know that the credit unions, they're closed on the weekend. So, we have service centers. Service center right there now, Ma. We've been riding. We, me and my brother got to riding around looking crazy. Just for ATM, though. Only thing we needed was, but it was just nice to even ride around. I got a little, you know, of our area where we live in. Uh-uh. Well, well, the area my mom and my dad live in, I got a little, like, snippets of that, so I'm gonna put that in there. And it was snowing. It's snowing now, so. And we are in Kentucky, but, man, Michigan, they were, like, snow, snow. Like, I hadn't seen snow in years, but it's fine. It was nice to see it for a little bit. I ain't trying to live in it, though, y'all. I don't want to live in it. <laughs> I'll go back and see it, but I, I don't want to live in it no more. I did that for 30-something years. I'm good. Mm -mm. I'm straight. 